Tonight, the Henrico community is mourning the shocking loss of one of their own, a student there. It all started yesterday near Glenwood Farms with a shooting and ended with a driver flagging down a trooper on I-64 for help. 8 News reporter Rachel Keller is live at Henrico High School with more details about the victim as those who knew the teen react to her death. Rachel. Well, Eric, Deanna, it's been a traumatic day for the entire Henrico High School community. We have learned that senior Diamond Brown Mosby was killed yesterday. She was the shooting victim in that car that stopped on I-64 for help. And tonight, another juvenile is in custody facing charges. Henrico High School principal Karen Castillo Rose sent a letter to families and staff this morning, notifying them of Diamond Brown Mosby's death, who she called a kind young woman and a talented student athlete. Her former basketball players just walked in the gym, got some stuff out of the locker room and you know, just to see their faces bawling in tears. Henrico High Health and PE teacher Wayne Williams says Diamond was on the girls' basketball team and loved ones are hurting. Being in this profession, it happens every once in a while, but kids like her, it really hurt because she was doing the right things. Henrico Police says yesterday afternoon, just after four, a Virginia State Trooper was assisting a motorist along I-64 on the Shaco Valley Bridge. That's when a second car pulled up. The driver said they needed help for the passenger who had been shot. Diamond was then taken to the hospital where she later died. Detectives believe she was shot near the Glenwood Farms community on the east end. She was just a good kid, man. She had manners. Again, she had go. She was a real warrior. Police investigating overnight all ultimately arresting another juvenile who has been charged with attempted robbery and murder. Students here at Henrico High have been given the resources to navigate through this tough and difficult time. The young person in custody tonight is currently at the Henrico Detention Home. Anyone with information on this incident should reach out to Crime Stoppers. Live in Henrico County tonight, Rachel Keller, 8 News.